Alright everyone, welcome back uh, to day two of uh, the second Lebanon war campaign. As uh, you might remember from last time, this is a, uh, a fictional scenario based on the real conflict where uh, the rest of uh, the Middle East, including uh, Syria, Egypt uh, and uh, Jordan, decided to uh, uh, join in on the Lebanon war against Israel. And this has grown into uh, what many people already call uh, World War uh, World War Three, and uh, the United States uh, is already deeply involved, and uh, have the, uh, dispatched one aircraft carrier to the Middle Terranean in order to try to contain the situation. In the last mission, we lost uh, one of our AWACS, but luckily the carrier have. Uh, three additional ones, but uh, that was the first uh, AWAC to ever be uh, lost in uh, combat by the United States Navy. So the situation, as I said, uh, this is, uh, it all started on uh, July 12th after Hezbollah kidnapped uh, a number of Israeli soldiers and uh, uh, there was negotiated a peace treaty at the UN that was uh, respected by neither side on uh, on uh, July 15 and on July 16th, uh, Egypt, uh, Lebanon, uh, I'm sorry, Egypt, uh, Syria, and Jordan joined in on the conflict, and Israel is now uh, uh, engaged in a full-scale war on all fronts and have uh, fully mobilized their army. Israel had, uh, still has the technological advantage, uh, but remains uh, vastly numerically outnumbered by, it, by its neighbors. And the US have uh, pledged uh, full uh, support to Israel. But uh, despite uh, United States support, they are so far uh, unable to uh, deploy a large number of, of troops to Israel because of uh, uh, there are already ongoing uh, efforts in Iraq and Afghanistan. So instead they are relying heavily on their navy to uh, support Israel. Turkey is uh, so far uh, unofficially uh, supporting Syria while officially being neutral, but uh, we already know that they are smuggling large amounts of uh, uh, equipment uh, into Syria and, uh, and uh, Lebanon and uh, Jordan from the north. And uh, here we can uh, see what we managed to accomplish last mission. We managed uh, to penetrate uh, the Syrian uh, defenses uh, in, um, in the west. And uh, as you can see, we have managed to uh, penetrate pretty good into, uh, into Syria. But uh, there was a little vote in uh, Discord uh, for what you wanted to do next. And you wanted to move further south and try to take out uh, Lebanon. And so we will do in, in this mission. I didn't draw the front line in the north. I forgot that <laughs> in uh, when I was editing this. But uh, the front line currently is from uh, Naku Nakuara. I don't know how to pronounce that. And, Nakura. Uh, Nakura. Thank you. And uh, along the border, basically. So the goal of uh, today's operation is uh, simply to destroy the Lebanese army HQ at Rayek and SC-130 uh, is going to drop paratroopers and try to take over the base. Pretty straightforward uh, operation but quite complicated that depends on, uh, on us managing to destroy the defenses in the area before the 130 arrives. And this is simply a, a map of the position of Rayek and uh, we will of course operate out from Ramat David for the fixed wings and uh, the hell is uh, from Rosh Paina. Uh, flights, uh, weapons and targets, uh, we will have uh, Vesel uh, 1 uh, with uh, Farmer, Overdose and Choker. Uh, we'll carry two bags in this one, a little bit more fuel than last time. Two, uh, two harms, uh, two times M9P5s. Mm, we no longer have the excess because of the large, large uh, amount of uh, fighters we lost in the last mission and the United States is uh, afraid that we will uh, lose uh, excess in uh, in enemy territory and they will get a hold of the tech. And they will have uh, two times M120 Cs actually I loaded it with this time. So it's wrong, it's not Bs. Uh, a harm and a harm pod. And your targets are SA2, 3s and, um, and uh, anti-aircraft uh, guns. Viper 1, uh, that will be me, a blackout, six pack and hotshot. We will carry two bags, a jamming pod, 
two times M9 P5s, uh, four times M1 30 Cs again, and uh, we will simply do a bar cap. Apache flight, you will have uh, eight Hellfires, uh, K uh, type this time, uh, two times rocket pods with Hydras, and you will patrol the front line and engage uh, enemy hostiles. And Springfield flight, uh, that is Bear Bear and Reaper, uh, you will uh, carry a uh, it actually is two bags, again, my mistake. Uh, 12 times uh, Mark 82 uh, Snake Eyes, 2 times M9Ls, and 2 times uh, uh, 120Bs. Uh, let's start with the tasking for Apache flights. You will uh, patrol the border and take out enemy forces, especially artillery units. And when I say artillery units, it's more like mortars. They don't have any a significant amount of heavy equipment, uh, the Lebanese army and uh, the militias. Manpads have been <coughs> observed uh, together with uh, SU-23 AAA guns uh, uh, along the front line, so be aware of that. And on Voy 4 uh, Nakura is uh, being used as a supply point for their gazelles as well as their ground forces, so that is of high priority. You can decide if you want to go there first or, or not. This is your flight plan. Uh, as I said, your home base is Rosh Pina. 9.1 is, uh, and 2 and 3 is uh, where enemy forces has been observed. And Viper Point is in uh, Nakuara. Uh, do you guys have any questions so far, by the way? No, let's move on. Weasel flight, you will uh, perform a very important task right here. You will take out an SA-2 and uh, and, uh, SA and two uh, sides of SA-3s. You'll do a pop-up attack approximately 10 to 20 miles out. And you will also be tasked with taking out the uh, AAA guns uh, before uh, Springfield flight arrives to the, to the area. This is a uh, picture of your uh, flight, uh, flight path. Uh, take notes of this if you don't can't remember it. You fly towards waypoint 1 and then towards waypoint 2 and from then on we will fly at low altitude towards roughly at uh, waypoint 3 we will do a pop-up attack and take out uh, the SA-2 and the SA-3s. Uh, waypoint 3 is uh, the SA, uh, SA-2 that is uh, almost right on the tarmac of uh, Ryak airfield and uh, the SA-3s are on the hillsides on both sides of Ryak uh, airbase. Any questions from uh, Weasel Flight? No, let's move on. Viper Flight, uh, we will simply fly a bar cap to, in order to intercept enemy aircrafts and interfering uh, with the missions of those who maybe want to uh, make another go at the carrier or try to take out uh, our AWAC uh, once again. And we will also be tar tasked with uh, escorting cargo flight to their destination. Cargo flight is uh, the C-130 that is going to drop uh, paratroopers. And here we can see our uh, flight plan. Uh, we'll fly to waypoint 1, the same as uh, Weasel and Springfield, by the way. And uh, we'll fly to waypoint 2. And we'll fly at uh, uh, fly between waypoint 2 and 3 and uh, uh, engage enemy fighters if necessary. And I will serve so, sort of like an AWAC and uh, team leader light, you can sort of uh, say, and I will mostly stay in the back and try to uh, direct uh, you guys around. Any questions from the members of Viper Flight? All right, moving on. Springfield Flight, uh, that is uh, Bear Bear and Reaper. Uh, you will fly F-15Es. You are tasked with uh, taking out the Lebanese Army H uh, HQ at uh, Ryak Airfield. That is your main tasking. Uh, and destroy the AAA if uh, needed, if uh, via, if uh, visual flight is unable to. By the way, destroying the AAA will mostly be done with uh, guns, so be careful. I had to do it that way because of lack of uh, aircraft. Here is your flight plan. You will fly towards waypoint 1, the same as uh, Weasel uh, 1 and uh, Viper flight. Fly po towards waypoint 2 and uh, follow um, essentially Weasel flight, uh, like uh, 
10 to 20 miles behind, I believe, is sufficient. And uh, move in and bomb the base as <coughs> soon as... Uh, as soon as... Uh, Whistle Flight has been able to knock out uh, the, the SAM sites. You might uh, go through some uh, AAA, but... Uh, actually, when I come to think of it, you should wait until... Uh, Weasel Flight gives us the go-ahead, actually, to move in and bomb the base. And here's a picture of the site. I don't know why the quality got so bad uh, when I was rendering this, but uh, the SA-2 is here, and the Army HQ is right here. You should see it quite clearly. And there are also spotted two um, SE-23, uh, I mean, 22, 23 installments. Uh, near the base, and as well as an S60 57mm uh, anti-aircraft site uh, right here. Other than that, uh, no other air defenses have been spotted. SAM threats. Uh, man pads observed near the front line, especially uh, important for uh, Apache flight. SAE-5s are active around Damascus, and they might engage you guys when uh, you're flying high uh, or get too close. And the uh, SAE 11, 2s and 6 are active uh, in uh, Syria, so don't enter Syrian airspace. You will not have a good time. Uh, comms. Uh, uh, this is simply the same one from uh, the last mission. Weasel 1, you will be on 126.5. Uh, Springfield flight, you will be at 130.0. Uh, decimal zero. And... Uh, yeah, Viper flight, we will use uh, Weasel 2's uh, frequency, 128.0, and Apache 131.5, and the common frequency is 305, and uh, that's also the same one for uh, uh, for the AWAC, Dark Star. An attack hand for Ramat David is 84 X-ray, and frequency is 113.7. Uh, yeah, Threats, uh, this is also the same one from last time. Syria have large numbers of uh, MiG-29s, 23s on standbys. Uh, they're all 21s, I've seen very little action, apart from a little bit of uh, ground attack. SU-24s are launching cruise missiles from inside their own territory and the safety of their own airspace for uh, the most part. Uh, most expected threat. Uh, is from Jordan. You can disregard this one. The most expected uh, threat in this mission is uh, is uh, Syria trying to intercept us once we fly over uh, Lebanon. Lebanon uh, might do skirmishes with gas cells as well as there is Syrian Mi-24s patrolling uh, near the front line. Uh, so keep that in mind, uh, especially Apache flight. SAM threat is high uh, in, gen in general, but uh, low over Lebanon, because they don't have uh, much to speak of when it comes to uh, a military in general. Then they are quite dependent on Syria, actually. Uh, the matter, uh, the time is uh, 150 uh, hours, um, local time, temperature is 29 degrees, Q&H 2908, few at uh, 9000, and uh, I won't read the wind this time. Uh, any questions? Springfield uh, flight. Yep. Uh, armaments is uh, Snake Eyes, Mark 82s, correct? Correct. Is there any assessment on the necessity of using JDAMs or laser guided bombs for the precision measure of this uh, strike? You can um, reload if you feel that is necessary. I uh, thought Snake Eyes because we're doing a low pass and uh, fly over and simply drop it. Copy. Mm. Just uh, so you stay at quite low altitude to uh, not be engaged by Samson everything. Copy. We'll do uh, an assessment on it on the on the fly. Yeah, you can. Uh, you can rearm if you feel that's more appropriate. Uh, anyone else? Okay, I will uh, drop the the IP link in the brief debrief uh, and give everyone, let's say, uh, 15 minutes to uh, log in and go and take a piss and everything before we get started.
Viper 3 checking in uh, VHF 128. This is Viper 1-1, one, one, uh, you loud and clear. Roger, thank you. Viper 1-2. This is Viper 1-1. One, one. Glenn, uh, Mötie Velferden, real quick. Viper 1-2, uh, this is 1-1, one, one, uh, did you say something? Uh, Viper 1-1, one, one, this is Viper 1-2, checking in, 1-2-8. One two eight, uh, you loud and clear. We do loud and clear as well. Viper three has a uh, data link on at least one of uh, my wingmen. Viper 1 2 is aligned now, you should be able to see me on the data link. This is uh, uh, 1 1, I can see you. Ooh, there's the 130. We still empty the radio check. This is uh, Viper 1 1, you're loud and clear. Okay, I can see quite a lot of uh, people on data link right now, so seems to be working. Viper 1-2, fully ready. Copy from uh, Viper 1-2. Um, whistle flight, uh, are you on comms 305? Copy, we slide on, comes through park. Copy, report when uh, ready to taxi. Uh, Springfield uh, flight uh, report. DCS ready. crashed for uh, Springfield 1-1, but it's good because we should hang a little back. So Viper 3, ready. Ah, great. Uh, Viper flight will begin taxiing towards uh, runway 27. Viper 1-1, one, one, whistle 1-1. One, one. Viper 1-1. One, one. Uh, where's active runway at uh, remote? 2-7. Copy, whistle at ready taxi, taxi, runway 2-7, holding short. Whistle 1-2, uh, 3-4, uh, uh, are you guys starting to taxi? Whistle 3, uh, waiting in the shelter for a Whistle 1. No, uh, Viper. Uh, we saw uh, Viper 1-1, uh, I started to taxi, so I'm on the taxiway. 2 taxi. Whistle fly taking off from my 2-7, uh, heading for waypoint 1. Okay, Viper flight, uh, Viper 1-1 one, one, uh, will take off in pairs, uh, 10 seconds, um, uh, 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 ah. difference. <laughs> Interval. Interval, <laughs> that was the word. Viper 1-1 one, one, spooling up. 2 spooling up. And release burners on.
All flights, be aware of uh, wave turbulence. This is Viper 1-1, one, one, uh, turning right towards waypoint uh, 1, uh, will maintain speed of uh, 350 knots. Down the clear east flight. Apache flight is in the air, uh, we had some calm problems because we were in the valley, but we hear you now. Nice to uh, have you back, yeah, Apache flight. Uh, we hear you loud and clear, uh, Viper 1-1. One, one. Swiper 1-1, one, one, I'm on autopilot. We supplied uh, Baltic Waypoint 1 at uh, 10,000. Copy that. Swiper 1-1, one, one, uh, we're 8.5 miles out. Okay. Okay, uh, turn right now, Viper flight. Viper flight passing waypoint 1, turning towards waypoint 2. Yeah, Viper 3 disconnected. Yeah, alright. It will be. Okay, Viper Flight, uh, prepare to set course for waypoint 3. Reducing speed, uh, just a tad. We supplied passing waypoint uh, 2 at 10,000. Copy. Viper Flight, uh, passing waypoint 2, uh, setting course for waypoint uh, 3, uh, altitude uh, 20,000 feet, uh, speed uh, 420 indicated. Turning now, Viper Flight. Alright, this is Viper 1-1, one, one. we have, uh, looks like, one bandit uh, coming uh, in roughly over the target area, actually. Whistle flight copy. Whistle flight, uh, do you have him on uh, data link? A for him. If you want to, you can go for him. Viper 2 fenced in state 10.0 Copy Viper flight, uh, current fuel flow is uh, 5500 Whistle flight, this is Viper flight uh, do you have an idea on the bandit, what uh, kind is? It just disappeared from data link as well. Uh, target not coming up on scope as of yet. Copy, might be below the radar. Hyperflight, uh, I'm switching to waypoint uh, 2, turning now. To the left, by the way. This is Swiper Flight, we are at waypoint uh, 3, uh, turning left back to waypoint 2. Springfield Flight uh, passing over waypoint 2, racetrack pattern. Copy that.
Viper, uh, do, you, uh, do you want to go after the bandit at low altitude? A firm, Viper 2. Okay, disengage and uh, give him help. Roger 2. This is uh, Viper Flight. Uh, one uh, fighter is uh, inbound to uh, engage the enemy helicopter. Whistle flight engaging SA2. Copy. Okay, this is Swiper 1-1, one one, uh, that uh, Brockle is probably in helicopter, is flying low and slow. Right. With uh, Viper 1-2 uh, uh, is engaging. 2 is looking. I see him on data link. Confirm uh, cleared hot. Cleared hot. Whistle flight, uh, MiG-23 spikes from east. Copy, uh, turning uh, towards uh, the contact. Uh, whistle flight, uh, I recommend you turn back towards uh, waypoint uh, 2 so uh, I don't fire on you guys. Twelve. Uh, see that link. Uh, uh, which one was the last station? Say again. Whistle one one. Okay. Uh, gauge target if uh, you have him. I'm uh, flying towards you guys right now. Uh, Viper one one. Okay, uh, whistle flight, uh, is the SAM sites uh, knocked out? Uh, checking now and SAM sites look, looked out, look knocked out, uh, AAA firing at me. Copy, uh, engage the AAA, uh, uh, or biggest threat and uh, Springfield flight uh, continue and uh, pound uh, the area, giggity. Copy, Springfield turning in from waypoint 2, Angels 26 sending. Whistle on Fox 3, main 3 and 3. Copy. Cargo flight is also inbound, so... Okay, I can see one unknown uh, contact. Uh, my target is Angels 14. I can see one unknown, uh, several unknowns actually. Whistle one one target splashed. Copy. That's I have some unknown contacts uh, on scope. Try to interrogate them. Oh, that's a friendly. Uh, getting green back. Uh, which one is passing waypoint? Uh, uh, passing east, southeast of uh, target waypoint, uh, Angels 5. Viper 1, 1, Viper 1, 2, I'm looking at uh, two helicopters. Copy that. Data. Det er noen som prøver å dele et waypoint med deg, Dirk, du sånn. Jeg vet ikke hvordan jeg tar det imot. 
Nej, ah, jag ska checka nu. Okej, okay, we have some unknown contacts coming in. Uh, I don't know if you can see them on scope. Yes, okay, I'm being locked up by SA5 as well. Uh, two as well. Viper 1, one. okay, he's gone. Okay, MiG-23 is up high. The hell doesn't the AWAC see those contacts? Okay, I'm spiking one target. Uh, anyone getting up by the spike? Oh, large formation. Uh, Viper 1, will you have me back in? Yeah, affirmative. Hey, from Viper 1, 2, breaking off and returning. Viper, Springfield. Viper. How's the air looking between uh, stair point uh, 2 and 3? Uh... As far as I can see, it's uh, clear, but we have uh, a big flight uh, flying towards the carrier, it seems. Viper 1-1, one, one, uh, Fox, uh, Fox 3. The contacts are uh, SU-24s. Viper 1 on uh, Fox Street. Splash 1. Splash 1. Uh, Viper 5, Whistle Flight. Uh, this is Viper Flight. Uh, Whistle 1-1 one, one, uh, currently state uh, 3.6, uh, 1 times uh, MRM, 2 times Sidewinders. Uh, is there anything I can do? Uh, yeah, engage the contact. It's uh, SU-24s. They're going on a suicide mission, it seems. Uh, Angel 20, that would be? Correct. I splashed three of them, so... Yeah, I got him on data link. Turning in now. Uh, I'll go hitters then to... Not hit uh, the friendlies. Copy. Viper 1, 2 is 30 miles. It seems to be one left. It 
Springfield flight, uh, what is your status? Uh, inbound for the target area right now, trying to get visual through the cloud cover. Viper 1-1, uh, Fox uh, 3. Viper 1 1, uh, Wisdom 1 1, coming in from the left behind him now. Am I clear for Fox 3? Uh, negative, I just fired at him. Splash. Good splash. He was really fast. Yeah, I was having a hard time catching up with him, and I, <laughs> I'm at uh, 1.4 now. Yeah. I burned a lot of fuel. Uh, 5,700 pounds left, I'm going to jet. Uh, thanks. Yeah, I got 1,004 now. Going hard to be. Apache flight, uh, what's your status? Uh, Apache flight is on its second flight. We got shot down once, but uh, we're engaging again. I'm you. Copy that. Cargo flight uh, is approaching. Uh, Springfield flight, do you copy? Really fucking hoping for these mountains to be simulated now. Yep. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. It's cool that it is simulated though. 
people. Springfield flight, uh, do you copy? Springfield copy. Uh, what's the status of uh, the target area? Currently drop one uh, salvo of JDAMs. Uh, we are doing a rerun in with uh, Springfield 1-2 uh, slowed out. We'll uh, continue. Uh, we'll report back when done. Copy that. Uh, what's the status of the AAA? Uh, unknown. Uh, we've taken a little bit of flak fire, but uh, currently not destroyed anything. Okay. Prioritize uh, destroying the AAA uh, before cargo flight comes in. They are pretty close run and now. One, two, side left. Oh, there you are. Springfield flight uh, status. Springfield flight uh, status. Okay, Viper flight leveling out soon. Leveling out now. Go for whistle flight. Uh, whistle fl uh, flight, is it correct that you guys uh, shot down uh, one bandit? Uh, if I'm uh, one meter and three. MiG-23, copy. Apache flight, uh, what is your guy's status? Uh, we have still some control issues, so we're just uh, trying to attack with rockets and guns. Copy that. Alright, it seems like uh, cargo flight made it out okay, I think I see them on data link. They are alive. Okay, Viper well, flight, uh, this is 1-1, one, one. Uh, I'm going to start turning left towards uh, Ramat, uh, David, around 34 miles out. Two, run. Water pilot off, let's going, uh, turning uh, left and descending.
Springfield flight, uh, this is Viper. Um, are you guys regressing? One, two, set left. Copy that. Viper one one, leveling out now. Viper one one, uh, I can see the uh, runway. Let's go for uh, uh, left downwind. Two right. Viper flight uh, turning short final runway two set. Okay, landing gear out so far we come around the three hundred. Let me get out. I'm landing on uh the right hand side. Viper flight on final uh, runway 27. Whistle 1 1 holding short runway 27 for crossing. Look almost on speed here. Viper flight uh, less than a mile out. Touchdown. Arrow break. I was a little more weight again. Perhaps a forced help. We're still going to cross the runway two seven at first intersection. Uh, 